Sebastian, a Halloween story from the Art Journal at the Mary Atelier by Mary Dell Abrams. Part 1, Chapter 1. A very long time ago crept a frightful and ornery little spider, Sebastian, named after the old, old, and very ancient forgotten kingdom of Sebast. Sebastian's home was under the shelter of a damp, stinky, moldy rock shaded by tall swamp grasses and dried weeds. How long ago was it? It was so long ago that all insects, bugs, and creepy crawlers could still talk to each other. And talk, talk, talk they did, at least when their mouths were not full while eating their dinners. Some would even sing to each other. It was so long ago that the word astronaut had not even been invented yet. Sebastian was a creepy little spider. He had two huge eyes, four smaller eyes, and two tiny, tiny eyes all around his head so that he could see all about him. Sebastian did not miss a thing going on around him. He had eight hairy legs, 48 knees, and claws on his toes, to poke things with just for fun, of course. His face was covered in hair with a short beard and mustache, and there were two razor-sharp fangs hanging from his mouth. Sometimes Sebastian was just a little stinky from not bathing for weeks at a time. What color was Sebastian? He was any color that he wanted to be at any time. Sebastian really liked greens, oranges, purples, browns, reds, yellows, blacks, and golds, just to name a few. When Sebastian ate his lunch, he made a green gooey mess all around him because he insisted on stirring all of his food into a juicy gooey soup that he slurped with disgusting sounds through his fangs, just like drinking soda pop from a straw. They had not been invented yet either. But not everything about Sebastian was ugly and mean. He wore a heart of pure gold right on the center of his back. Every time Sebastian was thinking of something even just a little bit nice, that gold heart would shine out a bright light to all the creatures around him. That is how they knew, if they were smart at all, that when Sebastian's gold heart was shining, it was a sign that it was a good time if they wanted to talk to Sebastian. Sebastian had a favorite holiday, one that he had more fun at than any other time of the year. What day do you think it was that Sebastian liked more than any other holiday? Continued in Part 2, Chapter 2